On behalf of the opposition parties in the legislature, the tribute to Tolayo is a clear indication to the character Gakomretundobe, the person that he was, a peacemaker to most of us. Comrade Ukomre Tundobe was an activist of the ANC, and I think all of us know very well Luguti Umangabek Tuleganje, he would have been the first one to start a revolutionary song, Umangabe Enigazi Tube. Gizotelage Ukbiza Utatewe Tu Unontembe Konotemba Boys, Azokuluma on behalf of the KZN legislature. Ukomre Tunde is the speaker. Gatala Makomre Tim Paramis and Yango. Comre Tundo, the Aula Lingo. Amanda, uh, program directors, the premier of KwaZulu Natal, Honorable Zigalala, the minister of cooperative governance, Dogotela uh, Zamini Zuma, the minister of health, Dogotela Mkize, the deputy minister in the presidency put good enough okay. MECs present the chief whip of the Wazulu Natal legislature the deputy chief whip of the Wazulu Natal legislature the leaders of the oppositions leader of the official opposition Khonishwa Ngoche Bangazita we TA, Bangazita we ATM, Mazlamini we EFF, Mamu, Sonny Tram Lodge, we NFP. All honorable members of the Wazulu Natal legislature, the mayors that are present here with us, the speaker of Umzimkulu and the Speaker of Herigwala Municipalities, the Director General of the Province of KwaZulu-Natal, the Secretary of the Legislature of KwaZulu-Natal, Members of Parliament, the Deputy Public Protector, one of our prides, Advocate Talega. Lusa Polo Wandobe, Lusa Polo Rangosa, Lusa Polo Wazamini, Tatukin, Nama Metoti Amanyeni, Abatanji Swabengos, Abakona Bonke Ab, Nani Nongeni Conintente, Nindivu Milen, Nindinibulis, eh, Uba bendine li zili kama mumkulisi. Slalo we salka kwa zulu natal. Slalo we nchi of course. Uba bendine li zili lako. Nge bendi suku menge ngo maezi tatu ya mame todi. Kodwa kendi za usala sendi iteta. Le iti mabagutu mise. Abandu chikowe na umkulu. I rise on behalf of the KwaZulu-Natal legislature 
to firstly send our sincere condolences to the Ndobe family and the Nkotla and the Lamini families and all the relatives and friends of our departed Deputy Speaker, Usomlo. I also come to acknowledge the condolences that we have received from all the nine provincial legislatures of KwaZulu-Natal, as well as the government of the Eastern Cape. We have also received a message of condolence from the Deputy Secretary General of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association in the UK, Mr. Javis Mathia, who also promised that he will send the obituary notice to the Secretary General of CPA. I am here to stand and pay tribute to a brother, to a friend, to a colleague, to the Deputy Speaker of KwaZulu-Natal. A colleague and a parliamentarian who joined the KZN legislature last year after the elections, having vast experience in local government where he worked and served as a councillor, eventually being the mayor of the district of Herigwala, but where he also served as the chairperson of the province of KwaZulu-Natal for the South African Local Government Association. So when he came in, he came in understanding that he was possessing valuable knowledge and leadership experience. But he understood that he did not have the knowledge about running the legislature of KwaZulu-Natal. He quickly blended in in the family of the KZN legislature through empowering himself with the necessary knowledge about the institution and also about parliament. His time, of course, was short, but characterized by remarkable selflessness. And as such, I sometimes think that he was with us for many years. He brought in the short space of time the necessary or the required leadership qualities to the institution that ensured that the office of the speakership was dignified. In essence, he brought what in the parliamentary language is called decora. In appearance, he was a complete difference to the speaker. If you did not know us, when you're looking at the speaker and the deputy speaker, you are seeing complete different people. One who's gentle, soft-spoken, always calm, with a broad smile, even when he's sitting with anger, you would never tell, because Honorable Ndobe would smile. On the other side, there is the emotional and loud me, and he brought the calming characteristic in that office. He was able to impact on the lives of the many members and stakeholders of the legislature because he had an ability to dedicate himself and walk the path of those that he came across. He always had this distinguishing characteristics as a parliamentarian. To know that when you are a parliamentarian, you do not come with all the knowledge, but you acquire the knowledge through self-empowerment. As a leader that was dedicated or responsible for capacity building of members, he took capacity building upon himself. We would stay on long meetings in the office, going through the rules together, understanding the rules and also interpreting the rules, trying to also understand how can we improve 
ourselves in how we mediate between parties to ensure that there is peace among the parties in the legislature. How in our presiding over the institution and also over the sittings, we never, even by perception, create a entire existence of biasness. He was always a dependable ally. He took upon himself to ensure that lawmaking, oversight, and public participation in the KwaZulu Natal province will also be added a little ingredient, the, 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 the personal or human element. Because he understood that to have an activist, people-centered legislature, you needed to involve people and also to understand people. Honorable Ndobe did this even when he was lying on his deathbed. I want to remember that during the adoption of the provincial budget this year, Madamini, you'd remember, Sisi, he was really sick. But he requested that he join us regardless. And the discussion between himself and the chief whip of his party, he was part of that. Even though the chief whip had said that the numbers were fine, but she was said that I will connect so that I am following the proceedings in the house. That was the dedicated Siwa. Whenever he presided, he would bring that calm, fair, yet firm personality. I still remember that the last sitting he presided over was on the 27th of August this year. And that was our best sitting. I know that we always have good sittings, but I still think that that was the greatest sitting, honorable members. Maybe we have no in the subconsciousness. His leadership skill in the legislature involved having to have mediation between the meetings of the management and also the meeting of the trade union that is in majority in the legislature. Even there, he was the unifier. He led by ensuring that there is unity and labor peace in the institution. I am priding myself to having have served with him. I am proud to know that he was not only recognized by us, he was also recognized at a national level, where until Friday last week, he was leading the political office bearers pension fund as its deputy chairperson. A national as a, a representative in the pension fund, Yama political office bearers. And there he was elected as deputy chairperson of the fund. He conducted that work with diligence, but above all, we kept everything that he dealt with in confidentiality. We never knew, no, has he ever tried to leak sensitive information regarding the various payments that he was dealing with. He was a man of honor. As a man of honor, at some times, he would take strain I want to say this because when you are an honorable person, you tend to take many things, including his illness. Honorable members of the legislature was a private person. He was the type of a member that you would see him coming to work because he did not want to create an impression that he's using his weakness of illness to avoid work. He would come to work sometimes and get Many of you would not even detect that he is not well. Because he did not want to show the world that he was having a battle that he was going through. 
That is the type of a person that I was working with. He was a dependable Ali. A person that we knew when we had taken a decision on how we are going to take the legislature forward, that it's going to be implemented. We will listen. We will take counsel. We would not take decisions and then Honorable Ndobe would disown the decision. It has never happened. Instead, whilst we were still in consultation, he would air his own views because Honorable Ndobe was always having a view. He never brought his ears to a discussion. He brought his mind and heart. And you would know that whatever advice he is giving to you is coming from a good place because that is the man that Mazuli was your father. That was the man you were married to, Mazamim. He was a loving politician. I have met all kinds of politicians and I know that when we sit somewhere, we create this impression that politicians are cold and heartless beings sometimes. I have met a legislator with a big heart. A legislator dedicated to the upliftment of the people of the province of KwaZulu Natal, who always seek to improve public participation to involve and change the lives of the people. When we came in, he said to me, Sisi, how do we get to say KwaZulu Natal is the best in terms of public participation. What is the measurement? Let us work on the measurement because the measurement should be not how we see ourselves or how many programs we've taken to the people. It should be how do we allow a meaningful engagement between the institution and the people. We decided then that we would move to e-parliament. We came to the honorable members and you voted last year for the movement to the e-parliament, which ensured that there was broader participation. Hence, most of your meetings are now having the participation of ordinary people, including the bill back, because that was to ensure that umama osekoki can come in and be part of the KZN legislature processes and be able to comment and see as a city that is the involvement that we are speaking about. That was the type of a legislator that we had with the deputy speaker. I know that we may try to speak about the good deeds of Honorable Ndobe, but we'll never exhaust them, not in this lifetime. But ours would be to continue to live a life that would make him to be alive through his ideals, through the contribution that he had made to both to the struggle and to the government, government uh, arms that he has served in. In Sendiyanga Sekubele, whilst we are doing that, I also want to appreciate his family for allowing me and the legislature to meddle in its matters during the illness of the deputy speaker, allowing me to phone you in odd hours, Putimzoli, allowing me to command you to leave what you are doing to go to Wakoki, uh, allowing me and Madlamini sometimes to give instructions to you even though we were not supposed to do that. But you allowed and you indulged us. Thank you, Mrs. Ndobe, for allowing us that time to tell you, Guti, no. We want also to thank his party and caucus for the trust that you have gave us as the office of the speaker. Sometimes we would breach the protocol, the parliamentary protocol, and do not communicate via the chief whip, and we go direct to the provincial secretary 
Kotite. Siabula ela for allowing us that opportunity leadership. But furthermore, we want to appreciate what you have also done to bring together other leaders to ensure that the office of the speaker is assisted whenever we needed agent assistance for the benefit of the deputy speaker. Siazu Guti Uambile Usiwa Usiwa Asopinde Abekona Litikulo Lama Wesile Umkile Mzalwane Umkile Ushengile Pagatikwe Tu Izwi Esili Kelile Asopinde Silive Tatuki, we will never hear the voice, nor will we ever see the smile. Nor will I hear someone who, when we are about to say something serious, would say to me, Wasova serious ganchen, how many clegi se ganane kala. And then crack a joke. Then he comes and brings me more serious stuff to be considered. We know that we'll never have that. We know that we will no longer be able to harvest from his unusual intelligence. But of course, anyway, deployment is deployment, it comes and go. Even before that, the deployment would have been reversed. But to the Ndobe family, I echo your words, Siwa. A husband, a son, a brother, a father is gone. Sis Nomandobe, and the kids, you will never be Uputimlu Lake. We don't expect you to be Uputimlu. But we expect you to be yourselves. Take the lessons that you might have gotten from him. Learn from them. Live your best lives knowing that as the Ndobe family, in this generation you have produced the best. And you've given the Wazulu Natal people the best. As the legislators, you have indeed given us the best. I still want to maintain. Updana was the best. It takes a very long time to make the kind of impact that he has made in the legislature. But it took him, when you count, months. Remember, even by July last year, he was already in and out of hospital but he still managed to impact. This teaches you that time waits for no one. Use the time that you have for positive things. Build whilst you have time. Make your legacy now. Putim Lu made his legacy. His legacy will make him and keep him alive forever. Siwa, you are gone. You are gone, Mfuetu. I will remember everything that you have told me to do. I will not make promises here, but know that every meeting, every thing that we have discussed is, is clear in my mind. The discussion we had on Friday, I didn't know it was the last, but now that I know it was your last, you said sometimes you wish for a peaceful rest. I hope, Bra, you got it. I hope the rest is peaceful. You are alive, you are not dead. As you go forward to, I'm reminded of what Dr. A. B. Kuma, in his famous speech about being faithful to nothing but Congress. He said something that I always find it very important Siwa, to us as public representatives. He said, I quote, to be true leaders, we must put the interests and welfare of our people above our own, close quote. Ngiyazi Siwa, Bayazi, Abantu, you've put the interests of your people above your own. And I will remember you in that way. May you rest in peace. 
the KwaZulu Natal legislature is poorer without you. Ambagase, Siwa. Sebanga kulu galau mazui, ogu valeli saumfo wetu undobe, ekamoga gu speaker of the legislature of Kwazulu Natal, utate wetu nontembo go pois. Eh, I'm told that gukona unganyi so who's going to be giving us a musical item. Gizotela abe ready, eh, although nginga mbizi manje, he will come in immediately after the premiere. But we've, before we go to the premier, we are requesting with great humility that we call to the stage Umama Utoktang Kosazana Zamini Zuma on behalf of the African National Congress, National Executive Committee, to come and speak about Umlule Gindobe, who was a Mlule Gindobe of the African National Congress. Uh, to the Ndobe family, the entire Ndobe family, uh, Umazamini, Abantwana, Nezelamani, the NEC members who are here, the Minister of Health and Minister of State Security, the Premier of the province and the executive members, MECs, the provincial ANC leadership led by Uprima Yenusi, Ukomretsi, Leno, Sombisi, the Women's League, Youth League, Alliance, the mayors who are here and councillors, the regional leadership of Harry Kuala, both at ANC, Women's League and Youth League, the Alliance, and all the branches who are here. Kibingelele ngo kulugus toba gui leadership ya maweseli, na bobonke abaga moya. Kibingelele, ema kosines asentungkulu, elito enkosi asematungini. And Lingelele Ubasali, Basse Herikwala, Lingelele, Emapoisenas Petelum Sebenzi, Deputy Commissioner, and Nabobonke, Ama officials are corner, a region, Nasse province in. Comrades, we are bidding farewell and celebrating a life 
of a young hero. I came to know Comrade Mlule Gindobe well when Umzim Kulu was incorporated into KZN and into Herigwala, but then it was called Sisonke. And as it has been said, he was very instrumental in changing that Sisonke to Herigwala. He was a hardworking comrade who had a sharp intellect and who led with passion, with empathy, with love and diligence. And before I talk for the ANC as a whole, I must say that Tina Siza Kamuz is a Laiheri Kuala. Wasli Dagashe, he was very responsive. Gingati waye umabizas, waye umabiza sabele. Giskati, both as the chair, also as the mayor. And at the time, the, the region was very unified. I remember one conference, I think it was in Kokstad, if I'm not mistaken. It was a regional conference. And when the time for election came, we never cast a single ballot because there was agreement about all positions from the chair, the top five, to the additional members. And it takes skill, it takes a spirit of unifying for comrades to be able to do that. So I, I, I agree with comrades that he had uh, the qualities of a person, a leader, but also a unifier. Because to have managed all the different subregions to actually agree. Of course, working with a team, because you are usually as good as your team. Uh, as no comrade non tembego, hang washigan janama parliamentarians. Yo? So gosh. No, let me greet my MPs from national, from the province, and no comrade who speaker leading all the officials that say legislature. And Jonga Bagatesh, no comrade non tembego. You have to, you can only succeed if your team succeeds. So you also have to build a team around you. He also wasn't just concentrating on ANC structures. He was promoting the Women's League, promoting the Youth League. He was also promoting cultural workers, regional cultural people here, knew that they had a home and he would uh, promote their work. Even sports people, I remember him together with the, when he was the district mayor and the mayors around here, uh, when Umtembu uh, won the marathon for the second time, they had a function for him, a collective function for him to acknowledge uh, his achievements. So he was making sure that every sector uh, finds a place. But as the ANC generally, we were still looking forward to a lot from Ukomrit Mlule Gindobe. He was a true servant of the people who gave his life to the service of the people in South Africa, but also to the service of humanity. Whatever task he was given, he ensured that he discharges that responsibility with all his energy and with excellence. 
and I and there's and also he was a good role model to younger comrades, but also to older comrades. He understood the value of education. In an unequal society like ours, education is the fastest equalizer. So I'm glad that his children are saying one of the things they'll take up is education. But it shouldn't be all his, only his children. All of us, young people, parents, must make sure that children love education, that children get a chance towards education, that children get skills that they will use to develop drive the economy of this country and build this country. Education I and that's what he was showing us. Uguti, you can study till the end. The president is looking at how we can recover the economy now. And it needs all of us to have our hands on deck at all levels to participate. Not forgetting that everything we do and everything he did, he wasn't doing it for himself. He was doing it in a small way for his family, but in a big way he was doing it for society, for the people, for the citizens of this country. Because he understood that in South Africa, we still have to eradicate hunger. We still have to eradicate poverty, unemployment, inequality. But of course, now with COVID-19, those challenges have been deepened by COVID. Unemployment is more, hunger is more, poverty is more. So we all have to ensure that we bring our best minds, our energies to fight all those. Who Premier and the President are talking about radical economic transfer, social economic transformation, but it has to happen here, not only in the big cities. It has to happen in the districts. That's why the president launched the district development model. Because people here should move to Durban out of choice, not out of desperation. They should be able to stay here and make a living and create wealth here. And only go to Joburg out of choice, not out of desperation. Because in many instances now, people move from their localities out of desperation, because there is nothing, they can't make a living where they are. So the ANC is saying do do to the family, is saying do do to Umadlamini, Guzobanzima, Usele Nabantuana, but Gesi Zulu, Kutuaiko, Inkyovesin Dombogo Wai. Somehow God will give you the strength to carry on and to make sure Abantuana Baya Kula. Abantuana, I know they feel and they should feel that they've lost a pillar of the family, they've left an anchor. Nagbona City Dudu, again, Umama Ukona. Isobolega Futi, Esizuluin, Esitin Tandanenta, Gumakotwangunin. 
at least uma use kona. And of course, to the entire Ndobe family, we've heard Uputuake saying ANC will be able to replace him in the responsibilities he held, but the family will not be able to. But we've also said, Uguti, Aga feel and I him called. His spirit lives on, his lessons live on, his legacy lives on. But as the ANC would also like to thank the family for having surrounded him to the service of the people because he was serving the people. I went to another funeral where the children said Ubaba Wabo gave them 20% of his time and the rest was given to the service of the people. I don't know what percentage it was, but at least I think it was good quality, but the ANC is very grateful for his contribution. We are very saddened because we were still looking forward to many more years. But as we know, it's not the number of years you live, it's how you live those years that you are given. And we can say without fear of contradiction that Ukomret Mlulegi lived his short life well. He did a lot more than many would do in a, li in a, in a longer lifetime. So we know that he's going to join other comrades. Uh, Utata, you remember Utata used to say, Umanga be figure Zuluin, Inga ki branche ANC, Uzo figure I create. So um 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 lulegi, Aga says who create branch, Obuzo itolisi corner lay a create old tata, Magati gek, says of figure join a corner, a kubum sevens work. We are also very grateful as the ANC that a cater of the ANC has received such tributes from Obabisa Obaba, Ama opposition parties in parliament, because it shows that he represented the ANC well, not only within our structures, but at the world at large. The opposition, Siababonga, Siabonga Gakulu, uh, they've said what kind of person he was, Lastly, we must also thank the family because when you meet somebody, Onga Maz, you walk out, you meet somebody, Umbingelel, the impression you get when you greet that person is what the family taught that person. In Tony, Po Umundak Pendulangayo, Maumbingelel, Unga Maz, Naye, Engawaz, represents. So Undo be combined in Tonipo Yasekaya, Ukfundi Swagwase Skoleni, Nok Ekeshwaga ANC, Nom Sebens Um Parat. Um Sebens Um Parat, we are Kekeshana now. In fact, to Kekeshana Gakul, ANC, you will never understand it, Mautuzo Ifunde Skoleni you understand it on the ground working, and that's exactly what he did. Sitige Ahambegase, who come Ndobe, he's done his part, and as ANC cadres, without making promises, but we must take his spear and continue where he left off. Long believe the undying spirit of Comrade Ndobe. Long live. Long live. Long live the undying spirit of Comrade Siwa. Long live. Long live. Amanda. Awe.